Today we're going to review the Smart Tooling Tube Demonstration Instructional Video. The first thing you'll want to do is collect all of your supplies. They are a kitted prepreg kit, a form smart tool wrapped in AirTech Tooltech CS5, the Smart Tool Master Mold, Aluminum Cure Mold, Python O-ring cord stock size 0.139, vacuum tube bag, and general sealants chromate tape. Lay up the demo tube following Smart Tooling's provided laminate schedule. All plies should be butt joints and there should be no overlap joints. If an overlap is seen, mark and trim with a pair of scissors. Once layup is complete, Place Smart Tool into bottom half of Cure Mold. Place top clamshell onto bottom clamshell and bolt the four corners down. Then remove all four bolts from the corners, remove the top clamshell, and check for pinch along the both parting lines. If pinching is observed, remove pinch plies before moving on. If no pinching is observed, place Viton Axial O-rings into O-ring grooves, ensuring that they extend past edge of mold at least one inch on all ends. Then place top clamshell back onto assembly and bolt together using all six bolts. Check mold to ensure there is no visible gap on the parting line. Trim O-rings so that they extend approximately 1 16th of an inch past the end of the mold. Cover the exposed O-rings with a piece of vacuum tape. Make sure you have a piece of breather attached to the vacuum pass-through port extending inside the Smart Tool. Fold tube bag and pull through Smart Tool. Apply vacuum tape to outside of tube bag and seal to mold flange face. Make sure seal is on top of O-ring locations. Use pleats as necessary to tie out extra bag. When sealing vacuum bag to other side, ensure you go around vacuum pass-through port. Ensure vacuum bag is sealed to the mold flanges only and not to the feet, as that will cause a potential leak path. Attach vacuum source using a quarter inch compression fitting and pull vacuum. Check for bridging on the inside of the smart tool. If bridging is found, remove vacuum and adjust bag. If no bridging is found, Check for leaks on vacuum tape line. Once all leaks are eliminated, use blue flashbreaker tape to reinforce the vacuum tape line as it can sometimes leak during cure. Once bagging is complete, place assembly in oven or autoclave and plumb for cure. Attach thermocouples to mold. Program cure cycle using prepreg manufacturer's specifications. After cure, Remove thermocouples and vacuum fitting. Remove assembly from oven or autoclave and bring to demold station. Remove bagging.
remove bolts to open clamshell. Remove part from clamshell. Inspect and remove flashing using a new razor blade. Place assembly back into oven set to 250 degrees Fahrenheit and wait until smart tool becomes elastic. Once elastic, break the surface tension on each end of the smart tool and remove the smart tool from the composite part. Immediately after demold, hand shape smart tool back to form shape and place into reforming mold. Once the forming mold is assembled around the smart tool, check for gaps in the parting line and also between the smart tool and the forming mold. To pull vacuum on the forming mold, you will have to use a pass-through fitting such as an AirTech vacuum pass-through port or a PTFE tube as shown here. Scour the tube where you will seal it to the vacuum bag and wrap a piece of breather around the end of the tube. Apply vacuum tape to the ends of the tube bag and place through Smart Tool. Trim O-rings and cover with vacuum tape. Seal vacuum bag to mold face, being sure that you tie into the O-ring locations. On opposite end, tie out vacuum bag to the mold surface in the same manner, but pass through the PTFE tube. Make sure you wrap a piece of vacuum tape around the PTFE tube where you will be sealing your bag to. Tie out bag as shown in video. Reinforce vacuum tape line using blue flashbreaker tape as done on the cure mold. Pull vacuum and check for bridging. If no bridging is found, check vacuum tape lines for leaks before proceeding. Once all leaks are eliminated, place assembly in oven, plumb, and attach thermocouples. Apply full vacuum and ramp to 250 degrees Fahrenheit in 10 minutes. Hold oven at 250 degrees Fahrenheit until the lagging thermocouple reads 225 degrees Fahrenheit. Cool back down to room temperature with vacuum left on. Once at room temperature, remove vacuum and vacuum bag. Unclamp the mold and check the smart tool for forming accuracy. Check tool tech for damage and perform spot repair as necessary. The smart tool is now ready to begin the next cycle. This has been Tim Holtz, Project Engineer at Smart Tooling. For more details, please reach out to me directly or reference your SOP.